This MMA 30 segment is powered by The Gun Store. Next time you're in Las Vegas, if you want to shoot a real machine gun, do it at The Gun Store at 2900 East Tropicana. Dr. about Kane. Obviously, he's a training partner. He's a great champion. He's a good friend. Uh, but it didn't go his way. You know, he got knocked out one week ago on Fox. How is he? Uh, what, what can you tell us uh, about Kane Velasquez? I have no doubt he'll be back bigger, better, and stronger, and faster. But tell us how the week has been, not only for Kane, but for the team, because you guys truly are like brothers in AKA. Yeah, it, it, it was a tough deal. You know, I think that uh, the UFC, I think, uh, you know, Kane himself, you know, he really prepared hard for this fight. Um, and uh, I don't like to see, you know, it, it's not about winning or, or losing, you know. It, I don't like to see that happen to a, a friend, a brother, you know. Um, uh, the way it happened, you know, I don't uh, I could be except the fact that you know Kane went out there and, and got beat just in a decision But seeing a friend get knocked out is really really heart touching and uh, you know One of the things I said to Kane after the fight was you know Kane It's not about winning and losing you know what you're gonna get to go home You, you you're gonna you have a beautiful wife a beautiful kid and uh, you know just cherish those things because you can come back from a loss We've all done it. You know, right. we've all been there and uh you know, now it's going to show uh, if you're a true champion or not. The, the ability to come back from this loss. And, uh, you know, he's already started training again. So uh, I'm really excited about uh, Kane's uh, future. Wow, well, that's awesome. But, man, take nothing away from Junior DeSantos. No, you, you can't take anything away from Junior DeSantos. And, uh, you know, he had the, the courage to get in there and fight Kane when he yep. was on crutches, uh, you know, 10 days before and couldn't walk. And, uh, you know, it just shows what kind of person he is. That he, you know, he had an obligation to fight, and uh, he didn't let the fans down. That's for sure. Absolutely. Big round. I only know one thing, and that's you know, training. You know, with my guys. Yeah. Um, uh, I did travel at first. You know, I've, I've been I trained with BJ Penn for a while when I first got into the sport. Um, you know, I trained with Sean Shirk. Um, I, I trained in Vegas before. Um, yeah, I did travel a little bit, but uh, I didn't like it because of the fact that you don't get in the routine. And, and I'm the type of guy that likes to, you know, have structure. Um, you know, was, I want to wake up in the morning and do the same thing, you know, f throughout my whole camp. And uh, I want to keep that routine. But uh, Bob Cook, Javier Mendez, obviously, you know, Dave Camarillo. Three of the greatest coaches, three of the greatest mentors in the business. But there's a lot of good ones out there. Why has AKA been such a good fit for you? I think because of the training partners, to be real, um, you know, I, I got tremendous people around me and, you know, with uh, the new guys that are coming on board, such as Daniel Cormier, Luke Rockhold, yeah. um, you know, the older guys such as Josh Thompson, you know, John Fitch, Cain Velasquez, um, you know, there's a lot of good history among amongst our gym with fighters, you know, relatively the sport of mixed martial arts is new, but these guys have been fighting for eight, nine years, you know, before the UFC became the UFC. And, uh, you know, I think that's one of the big reasons why I chose to go to, mix, to AKA and, you know, um, Zinc Entertainment put us all together in the same place under the same roof. And, uh, you know, I, I really got blessed to have the opportunity to meet uh, Crazy Bob Cook when, you know, he came recruiting me. So it's, it's just been a good fit for me. And the UFC is guaranteeing you a title shot, but your opponent is John Fitch. Nah, I'll go 185. No chance. How come you never say he has to go 185? How come I you mean, never made him he, like? He said it. He said it a million times too. You guys got to understand, we're not like the Greg Jackson gym, you know, where guys come in and out for a couple of days. And I'm half kidding. And, I'm like, what? You know. And you know, and, uh, you know we're, we're not like that. You know, we, me and John Fitch have been training together for eight years now. You know, and it's like, you guys really want to see us fight Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Come to the. The AK in San Jose, you guys can stand up there and you can watch us fight, you know, and, and it'll be for free. You won't have to pay $54 for it. This is for a title. Eh, no chance. It's, you know what, uh, it's not worth it. You know, it's not worth it to me. You know, I got enough, you know, I would rather step away from the sport than fight John Fitch. How's that? Obviously a, a, a small town and uh, one of the things that, that motivates me every single day is the fact that I don't have a trust fund, mommy and daddy, that's sitting at home when I fall on my butt and say, oh, you lost, oh, don't worry about it, you don't need to fight anymore. Nah, that's, you know what motivates me? The fact that I don't have anybody to, to depend upon when, you know, if I fail in this game. So that's what motivates me so much uh, to, to, to succeed. And not only in just fighting, but in my gyms, in my apartments, in my other businesses that I do outside of the Octagon, uh, I'm motivated because I don't have somebody there to catch me when I fall. You know, so I kind of have to 
do that myself. You know, I have to be my own provider. And uh, you know, I come from I come from very humble beginnings. And uh, you know, uh, it, it's it's not that I've made it yet, but I'm on my way. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I think that that motivates me to come out here and train hard six days a week and uh, you know two times a day and, and just and just grind. And uh, another thing that motivates me is you know I don't like to get embarrassed. You know, you go out and you, you get cracked and you get knocked out in front of uh, millions of people on pay-per-view and, you know, uh, 20,000 people in the arena. That's, that's a sad day. So uh, that's another thing that motivates me. This MMA 30 segment is powered by The Gun Store. Next time you're in Las Vegas, if you want to shoot a real machine gun, do it at The Gun Store at 2900 East Tropicana.